Hello students, welcome to this video. Today we are going to start the chapter set concept. Now the question is what is set? A set is a collection of well defined objects, things or symbols etc. Here we have to be very careful about the term well defined. Here if I take an example that the set of all hard problems in the chapter sets. So is it well defined? First of all, let us talk about the word hard. Now, a problem which is hard for someone, it may not be hard for another one. So how is it uh, well defined? So obviously it is not a set. If I talk about the set of all tall boys in your class, then the same question arises here that how this tall boys, I mean this word tall, how can it be well defined? Because if a boy is taller than someone, maybe he is shorter than another one. So obviously it is not well defined. So it cannot form a set. So let us go for some proper examples of sets. So first one, a set of all boys of class 7. So we have to make a set of boys who are in class 7. So it is totally well defined. Now next, let us go for another example which is a set of students in your class whose height is more than 5 feet. So, we have to make a set of students, okay, uh, including boys and girls. So, we have to make a set whose height is more than 5 feet. So, obviously it is well defined and we can make a set, definitely. So, let's talk about the elements of a set. Now, the object which are used to form a set are called elements of a set. So, let's go for an example. Let's take a set A which says that the set of vowels in English alphabet. So it is A, E, I, O, U. Now this A, E, I, O, U, they are individually an element of this set A. Now the use of epsilon symbol. The epsilon symbol stands for, belongs to or is an element of a set. Whereas this symbol stands for, does not belong to that set. So let us go for an example. So we have previously taken that A is equal to the set of uh, vowels in English alphabet. So it is A, E, I, O, U. Now we can say that A belongs to A, E belongs to A, I belongs to A, O belongs to A and U belongs to A. Whereas we can say that B does not belong to A, D does not belong to A, K does not belong to A and there are so many alphabets uh, which are, do not belong to A. So let us go for some properties. Property number 1 says that the elements in the set can be written in any order. For an example, the set A, E, I, O, U. Now this set can be written in the form E, A, U, O, I. Or you could have taken another order that is E, I, O, U, A and so many. Next is elements in the set should not be repeated. For an example, if I take this set A, E, I, O, U. So this A cannot be written twice in this set or this element E cannot, cannot be written twice in this set. Let us go for a proper example. The set of letters in the word school. So we have to take S1, C, H, O and L. See here two O's are there but we have taken just one O in this set A. So let us go for a question where we have to find whether or not the following collections represent a set. So the first, first one is the collection of integers between 30 to 40. So we have to check whether it is forming a set or not. Now if you think about the integers between 30 to 40, so obviously it is well defined. So definitely it will make a set. Now let us go for the next one where we have to take a collection of interesting books in your school library. Now can you define which is interesting and which is not? If some book, if, if one book is interesting for someone, it may not be interesting for another one. So obviously it is not well defined, so it will not form a set. Now next, the set of prime numbers between 20 to 30. So between 20 to 30, there are some numbers and among them, there are some prime numbers also. So obviously it will form a set. 
Now set A is equal to 3, 4, 5, 6. And that means in the set A the elements are 3, 4, 5 and 6. Now set B is equal to 7, 8, 9, 10. So we have to see or we have to check whether this 4 belongs to A or not, this 6 belongs to A or not and so on. So the first one is 4. Is it belong, does it belong to A? So obviously this 4 is here and it belongs to A. So it belongs to A. Now next 6. 6 is here so it belongs to A. Now 10. Now we have to check here there is no 10. So therefore it does not belong to A. And similarly if I go to this problem that is 12. So here no 12 is here. So that means it does not belong to B. And 9. 9 is here so it belongs to B. And here 5. 5 is not there, 5 is here, so obviously we can say that it does not belong to B. So today in this video, we have learned the definition of a set, the use of this symbol, some properties and most importantly, whether a collection forms a set or not. I hope you have understood. So thank you. Thank you for watching this video.